if i press the second button here the red led is glowing and also you can hear the relay sound this is the third button and this is the four button so our all four channels are working perfectly fine simultaneously and i am also giving you the link of the code on the my final year project i was uh, able to transmit message and voice using this nrf 24l01 so in this video i will show you how to use this kind of nrf 24l01 chip rf modules to communicate between multiple microcontrollers like arduino raspberry pi or esp32 in this video i will show you how to control this kind of four channel relay or four different leds from another arduino remotely using this kind of nrf 24l01 modules you will also have the code of this project along with the circuit diagram of this project i will also provide you the code and the circuit diagram which i had used for this project so if you are interested on this kind of projects please stay tuned and let's see how to make it so now let me quickly explain the transmitter and receiver code as you can see this is a transmitter code i had mentioned on top of it and you have to install these three libraries spi.h nrf2401.h and rf24.h just these three libraries here we had defined our input pins in which we have to connect our uh, buttons here are 2 3 4 and 5 our first button which is button pin 1 connected with the arduino's digital pin 2 and button pin 2 is connected with the arduino's digital pin 3 button pin 3 is connected with the arduino's digital pin 4 and button pin 4 is connected with the arduino's digital pin 5 you have to attach your buttons on digital pin 2 3 4 and 5 how you will attach i will explain that on the circuit diagram explanation uh, part and here you have to define CE and CSN pin of your Arduino. Remember, this NRF 24L01 modules use SPI protocol to communicate. In Arduino, you have hardware SPI pins which are MOSI, MISO, SCK, digital pin 11, 12, and 13. You cannot change them, but you can change CE and CSN pins. That's why in the code, uh, these are mentioned CE pin 7 and uh, CSN pin 8. If you want, you can change them. And in the void setup, I had uh, seted the button pins as input pull up. We don't need any kind of external resistance because of this function input pull up. I will explain that to you on uh, the circuit diagram explanation part. And here we had uh, radio dot set channel value is 100. You have to keep this value similar for both transmitter and receiver. Uh, remember this. And also you have to uh, keep the address on both uh, transmitter and receiver same otherwise these modules will not communicate with them now let's explain the receiver part so this is the receiver code remember transmitter and receiver for both modules connection between arduino and nrf module is exactly similar here i had also used uh, c and csn digital pin 7 and 8 and the set channel value is same 100 and the address is also same in the transmitter Arduino, I had used digital pin 2, 3, 4 and 5 for input buttons. Here, I am using 2, 3, 4 and 5 digital pin for uh, output. It means in the receiver Arduino, these uh, LEDs will be connected with the digital pin 2, 3, 4 and 5. Or if you want, you can also connect uh, relay modules on this pin as well as. Uh, all other things are similar. You just have to upload this code and it will uh, work perfectly fine. Now let's explain our circuit diagram. So this is our circuit diagram. As I had told before, the connection between Arduino and NRF24L01 is exactly the same for both transmitter and receiver. That's why I had drawn it here for one time. As you can see, this is our Arduino and this is our NRF24L01. Arduino's digital pin 13 will be connected with the NRF24L01's SCK. D12 will be connected with the MISO. D11 will be connected with the MOSI. D8 of Arduino is connected with the CSN pin of NRF and D7 is connected with the CE. NRF 24L01 need 3.3 volt power. So here I had drawn that we are giving power the NRF module from the Arduino 3.3 volt pin. But we will use an external voltage module for this NRF module. I will show you it later. And the ground will be connected with the ground. So these are the pin connections between Arduino and NRF 24L01. Remember these are same for both transmitter and receiver. Now this section is specific for transmitter and receiver. For transmitter we have to connect 4 push button with the Arduino 
and for receiver we have to connect four leds or uh, four relays with the arduino for transmitter we have just connect the button between the digital pin and the ground remember i had told you that in the code we had used input pull up function that input pull up function attaches the internal uh, pull up register with the digital pin that's why we don't need any other pull up register uh, externally that's why the button is directly connected between the digital pin and the ground here so one button is connected uh, between d2 and ground another is uh, connected between d3 and ground that's how these four buttons are connected between ground and digital pins in the receiver part we have to connect uh, four uh, current limiting resistance which i had used 220 ohm you can use more or less 220 ohm for any color of led and these are standard 5 or 3 mm leds or if you want to trigger a relay module you don't need any kind of resistance you just directly connect the digital pin of the arduino with the relay module signal pin so this is the whole uh, circuit diagram i hope you had understand it properly if you have any doubt any question queries or anything directly message me on instagram my instagram id is on the description box i will let you know everything clearly or uh, put a message on the uh, comment box so i will uh, solve your problem so now before we start connecting our all components let me show you some important things this is a important thing this is called nrf voltage module actually this kind of nrf module consumes a lots of current from arduino it uh, draws around 125 milliampere of current which our arduino's on board 3.3 volt voltage regulator cannot supply that's why we use this kind of module actually this modules take 5 volt from arduino remember on the circuit diagram i had shown you that uh, nrf module will connect with 3.3 volt of arduino but when we are attaching this kind of module then here is a on board 3.3 volt converter so we have provide 5 volt and ground from the arduino on the vcc and ground uh, pin of the voltage module and then here our nrf module will connected and these pins we will use to connect the nrf module with the arduino so this is our voltage module this is our nrf module the nrf module will go like here just just press it and it is ready to use now you have to provide 5 volt from this arduino here on vcc and ground pin and here are c csn sck mosi miso these all pins are available to connect with your arduino now you have to take some jumper cables these are male to female jumpers this is how you should use a nrf module with arduino otherwise if you only use the nrf module you will face a lots of problem because this nrf modules are very sensitive towards power supply noise or signal noise that's why you can see some decoupling capacitors here on the voltage module so for this all problems i had designed my own arduino nrf shield this is a uh, diy nrf shield made by me for specially nrf modules on this shield uh, on the bottom side also you can see my name i had designed this here is akash bag and on this uh, shield there is a on board potentiometer which you can use here is two i2c ports to connect external displays like oled or lcd or you can connect another i2c modules whatever you want there are four on board buttons here is the nrf module itself you can attach any kind of nrf modules like this big one or small nrf modules like these are small nrf modules with on board patch antenna and low range you can also attach this here and the whole shield will easily attach on top of a arduino uno as you can see here it's a perfect fit and you don't have to care about the connection of the nrf module with arduino you don't have to care about the proper power supply here is a large capacitor for the input side of the nrf module uh, shield and on bottom here you can see the ams 3117 3.3 volt regulator to give constant 3.3 volt supply to the nrf module you have on board leds on board buttons to connect you don't have to use this kind of Uh, buttons externally on a breadboard so uh, i made this for my final year project and it became too handy this is the whole concept so now i will show you how to 
connect this NRF module with this jumper cable with a normal Arduino because most of you don't have uh, this kind of seals and for receiver I will use a uh, Arduino here as well as and another receiver I will use my this DIY module so so that you don't become confused seeing this what this is that's why I had explained this so you have to work with this kind of normal Arduino and this kind of normal NRF modules as you can see here I had already uh, soldered so that's it now let's start connecting so here we had connected our all modules together here is the transmitter section and here is the receiver section actually I had not uh, four LEDs with me right now that's why I had connected a four channel relay module with the Arduino with the same pin 2 3 4 and 5 and you know if you can control a relay module then you can also control LEDs or other devices and we will also uh, power up this module with the receiver code so that here we can see the LEDs glowing or turning off while pressing here button so we have two receivers and one transmitter now let's upload code all of them and uh, see how they works so here this is our receiver code as you can see here I had written receiver code for NRF Arduino controlled for relays so this is our code and this Arduino is connected with the laptop with the data cable now upload the code here one receiver is ready and as you can see all four LEDs are already turned on by default these LEDs will turn on when the transmitter will power down then this LEDs will turn off so this is the rule now let's program our second receiver again we are uploading the same code same receiver code on the second Arduino as you can see already upload completed and this is our relay module this is active low relay that means when these pins will be high the relays will be turned off that's why no LED is currently glowing it will turn on later now let's program our transmitter section I am powering up these two receivers from a single battery as you can see here this is our first uh, receiver connected with NRF module and this uh, relay module for channel relay it is active low relay that's why all LEDs are turned off because these pins are currently turned on and this is our second receiver as you can see it has four onboard LEDs and right now all LEDs are turned on as soon as our transmitter will start transmitting these four LEDs will turn off at first then according to which buttons we are pressing these LEDs will uh, turn on so now let's upload the code on our transmitter I had uploaded it's uploading and as soon as the transmitter starts all LEDs turned off and this uh, relays turned on because they are active low and now if I press this button as you can see on both receivers D5 channel is turned alter here this white LED is glowing and here this relay is turned on I am pressing this button if I press the second button here the red LED is glowing and also you can hear the relay sound this is the third button and this is the fourth button so our all four channels are working perfectly fine simultaneously so this project is working perfectly fine and successful and I am also giving you the link of the code on the description box please check the description box you can download this code from there so this was the whole project always remember working with NRF modules are never easy because these modules are uh, very power hungry and very sensitive towards uh, power supply noise and signal noise that's why I had made uh, this uh, uh, seal for this NRF modules uh, particularly before this I was uh, trying to use these two voltage uh, modules but as you can see their capacitors are very uh, small size that's why maybe they were not working perfectly fine then I had used this uh, old voltage module which have big size uh, decoupling capacitors and now this project is working perfectly fine I don't know this module sometimes behaves very weirdly I had worked 2.5 years with this module now I don't face uh, that much problems but at first when I had started working with these modules they were very confusing so I had figured out uh, some things like 
set channel value or set data rate i will explain uh, these things on uh, another video in which i will uh, talk in details how to solve problems with nrf 24l01 modules believe me these modules are very good modules with very high data rate but they have only one kilometer range not very good penetration power because they are 2.4 gigahertz module and as we know higher frequency means lower penetration power that's why we prefer uh, lora module for outdoor long range and without line of sight projects in most of the cases so these modules are also very good they are very high data rate capable around 2.5 mb per second it means uh, you can transmit or transfer image or videos uh, over them sorry uh, it is 2 mb per second not 2.4 always remember if you are using a voltage module but still your transmitter is not transmitting to the receiver you can touch the pins of the uh, nrf module especially the vcc and ground and if after touching the vcc and ground this nrf module start transmitting that means sometime you can solve the problem uh, by soldering a 10 or 100 microfarad capacitor with the vcc and ground of the nrf module so these are some confusing things around these modules i had worked with these modules for a long time that's why i know but for uh, beginners these are very complicated always remember working with nrf 24l01 modules are not very easy but not very hard also you just have to keep experimenting with those uh, when i bought these modules at first i was uh, literally unable to use them i saw videos uh, on youtube or i follow google uh, blogs but they are uh, these modules were working perfectly fine but when i was trying to replicate that they were just not working but after a long 2.5 years of experimenting with these modules now i properly know how to use them how to control them and that's why i had made those uh, nrf seals for arduino Uno, which actually makes easier to connect these modules with arduino or eliminate any kind of signal noise or power noise because these modules takes a lot of pain on arduino and connecting them all time is very irritating that's why i had made uh, that uh, nrf seal for arduino also, I am planning to make a video in which I will test the range of this NRF2401 modules. Actually, I had tested its range many times because these modules I had already used in my final year project. In my final year project, I was uh, able to transmit message and voice using this NRF2401 both side. I mean two side communication through message and audio. So this was my final year project. Uh, for that purpose, I had uh, tested its range with this antenna and I had also made a seven element directional Yagi antenna for my final year project. I will show you those things later. So if you are interested to see the range testing video of this module, uh, please stay tuned and do subscribe my channel because I will upload this video as soon as possible. Also other uh, projects like LoRa module videos making custom antenna for LoRa module and LoRa module range test e byte e32 LoRa module range test those videos are already on my youtube channel you can check them out i am also giving you the range test of the LoRa module in my description box you can also check this out so that's it for today hi i am akash bag call sign victor uniform number three hotel alpha x-ray i am an electronics and communication engineer and a licensed heavy radio operator also now i am pursuing my mtech on microwaves I used to make videos on microcontrollers, microprocessors, sensor, RF module, drones, RC planes, uh, ham radio, ham radio antennas, antenna making and this kind of stuffs. So if you are interested on these topics, please subscribe my channel and if you like this video, please like it. If you have any kind of questions, queries, suggestion and anything regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section or you can directly message me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is on the description box. You can follow me from there. Also, don't forget to check out the code of this project and the circuit diagram in the description box. So, that's it. See you on another video. Bye.